asthma its causes and symptoms and its risk factors so asthma is a condition in which your airways narrow and swell and produce extra mucus this can make breathing difficult and trigger coughing wheezing and shortness of breath for some people asthma is a minor nuisance for others it can be a major problem that interferes with daily activities and may lead to a life threatening asthma attack its causes it is not clear why some people get asthma and others don't but it's probably due to a combination of environment and genetic inherited factors asthma triggers exposure to various substances that trigger allergies allergen and irritants can trigger signs and symptoms of asthma asthma triggers are often different from person to person can include airborne allergens such as pollen animal dander mold cockroaches and dust mites respiratory infections such as the common cold physical activities exercise induce asthma cold air air pollutants and irritants such as smoke certain medications including beta blockers aspirin ibuprofen naproxen strong emotions and stress sulfides and preservatives added to some types of food and beverages including shrimp dried fruits processed potatoes beer and wine gastroesophageal reflux diseases gerd are condition in which stomach acids break up into your throat menstrual cycle in some women its symptoms are the shortness of breath chest tightness or pain trouble sleeping caused by shortness of breath coughing or wheezing a uh, whistling or wheezing sound when exhaling wheezing is a common sign of asthma in children coughing or wheezing attacks that are worsened by a respiratory virus such as a cold or the flu and its risk factors a number of factors are thought to increase your chances of develop asthma these include have a blood relative such as a parent or sibling with asthma having another allergic condition such as atopic dermatitis or allergic rhinitis high fever being overweight being a smoker exposure to secondhand smoke having a mother who smoke while pregnant exposure to exhaust fumes or other types of pollution exposure to occupational triggers such as chemicals used in farming hair dressing and manufacturing exposure to allergen exposure to certain germs or parasite and having some types of bacterial or viral infection also may be a risk factors however more research is need to determine what role they may play in developing asthma asthma can't be cured but its symptoms can be controlled because asthma often changes over time It's important that you work with your doctor to track your signs and symptoms and adjust treatment as needed. If you like this video click on the subscribe button for more medical videos. Be safe and healthy.